Hello everyone, my name is Kuo Shen Su. I'm a uh, professor from National Taiwan University. I'm also one of the members of this year's organizing committee. Uh, we regret that uh, we are not able to invite you to come to Taipei this year. Uh, but the organizing committee uh, decided to put together a film uh, to introduce wonderful uh, religious landscape in Taiwan. As you can see behind me, uh, there's a, we are here at the Da Xi, uh, one of the most important temples uh, in the north part of Taiwan. It's called Hu Ji Temple. Uh, today, we are cele they are celebrating the birthday of Guan Gong. Oh, sorry about the NG. Uh, yeah, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, we will uh, um, uh, show, take you to one of the uh, largest religious festival in Taiwan, the Ghost Festival. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the film. And finally, on behalf of the organizing committee, I want to thank you for your participation. I hope to see you next year in the ESSR uh, annual meeting. Okay, bye. Hi, my name is Yulian. I'm a graduate student at National Taiwan University. I'm now at Taoyuan County, Daxi District. Today is June 24th of the lunar calendar, which is also the birthday of the Holy Emperor Guan Gong. Since 1917, each year, the Daxi locals will celebrate his birthday. And before the celebration, they will join She Tou, the local clubs of different trades, and practice folk art performances to express their gratitude and respect to the Guan Gong. Also, young people who are away from home will return to the Da Xi uh, to celebrate for their birthday, and this is deemed as more important as the Lunar New Year for them. Today is the 1st of July of the Chinese lunar calendar and people believe that the uh, uh, gate uh, to the underworld will be open today. So uh, we will introduce to you uh, how the people here uh, begin uh, their uh, festival today. So you can see the lamp here, this is used to pacify the diseased people to symbolize uh, that uh, to appease the dead. This is very a very traditional uh, ceremony here. Now we stand in front of the uh, temple, uh, which is uh, famous for the ghost month uh, ceremony. So um, uh, this is also a very big ceremony in Taiwan, which is uh, uh, recognized as the intangible uh, cultural heritage. This temple in Kilong was built to worship ghosts. Therefore, its architectural form is different from other temples for worshipping deities. Its doors are open only in ghost month each year. The Kilong Ghost Festival dates back to about 160 years ago when there were many serious conflicts between the two ethnic groups, Chen people and Zhang people, in the city of Kilong. The conflict between the two ethnic groups resulted in many deaths. After the incident, worship groups were organized to appease the soul of the dead, and the festival became a local public affair. The temple also became a stage for political figures. Through their symbolic participation, the politicians usually echo the local people's perception of their value 
while gaining their symbolic prestige. The Kilov Ghost Festival is organized by the clan association of different surnames. Each year, the host association is elected by casting the traditional moon blocks and responsible for the ceremony. The whole ritual lasts for one month. At the end of the month, the ghosts will return to underworld after the ghost gate is closed, and the whole ceremony will be completed. Taiwan's religious diversity is flourishing. There are more than 15,000 religious architecture in Taiwan. Among them, Buddhist and Taoist temples are the majority, most of which are historical monuments and have a history of more than 200 years. They have become part of the daily life of Taiwanese people. For example, Songshan Ziyou Temple was located in Taipei commercial area Songshan District was built in 1757 and is dedicated to the heavenly holy mother, Ma Zu. Besides Ma Zu, you can also find many gods from different religions inside the temple, including Taoism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. For example, there are the earth god, Guan Yin, the Jade Emperor, and the holy empire, Guan Gong, etc. Now, I will introduce the important deity Guan Shen Di Jun to all of you. In Taiwan society, some deities may play different roles in different religions. And Guan Shen Di Jun is the best known example. In Taoism, Guan Shen Di Jun is an efficacious deity and also known as a fortune deity. In Buddhism, he plays the role of guardian deity. In the Phoenix Hall, he will appear in some special rituals and offer Confucian teachings through spirit writings. In Yiguan Dao, he is a disciplined commander, reminding the cultivator to follow some rules in the training lessons or in their everyday life. to Dharma Zhong Mountain. You can see this uh, beautiful temple. It used the image of the metaphor of Chinese Chan Buddhism and used the, uh, the kind of water and also uh, the reflection of the moon to emphasize the emptiness of the wisdom. Now this place has become a landscape temple. Guan Yin gazed at the moon in the water, purely find the suffering of humankind. The Diamond Sutra wall under the blue sky inspires our inner mind. The founder, Master Shen Yan, guide a lot of culture and the social elite to join Chan meditation and make revival of the Chinese Chan Buddhism in Taiwan. By sitting meditation or walking meditation, you can relax your body and the mind. Like the moon in the water, it's just an illusion. You should produce the soul which abide in nowhere. The Chan practitioner must never forget to turn inward and find the true mind that Buddha wants to remind.
you may see it in this film, Taiwan is an island filled with diverse religious faith and a lot of vital activities about God, ghost, spiritualities. People here creatively uh, utilize religion to cope with daily problems and uh, cope with the risk they face. So in the future, at some point, when you visit Taiwan, we hope you can uh, stop by this building too. Um, that we can see each other in person and talk about religion in your country and Taiwan. Hi, uh, I hope uh, you enjoy the short film that we prepare. Uh, we have shoot uh, more than 20 hours of footage, but it's a pity that we only can show you uh, a, a few minutes of it. Uh, but I'm sure every country has a diverse and interesting uh, religion, uh, just like the one in Taiwan. Uh, through the EASSR uh, annual meeting, I think we can create a platform not only to share our research, but also to visit all those interesting uh, uh, religious sites uh, and, 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 and conduct some field work together. And hopefully uh, we can uh, share our uh, 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 global Asia perspective uh, of religion and, uh, and eventually we can collaborate and have conduct comparative study to have a better understanding of East Asia religion uh, in, a, in a global context. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope I see you next year uh, somewhere in East Asia. Bye.